thanks to be here. So uh, I will talk about uh, comparing OSM data and uh, with the local data from the government, Urbis. Um, so I'm working in uh, Champs Libre, and uh, we work with uh, OSM data sometimes, and uh, we really enjoy it. So there is a uh, work, and also I'm uh, in OSGO. So um, in fact, OSM is about open data, and OSGO is uh, open tools. And it's very complementary, so uh, don't hesitate to explore the, the tools of uh, OSGO. Um, so the data uh, that we will explore is uh, URBIS. It's uh, created by the government uh, of Brussels. So in Belgium, we have uh, three regions, and uh, one of the regions is uh, Brussels, and uh, they have their own data. They um, have an um, open uh, license that you can find uh, there. And in uh, 2013, they opened uh, the data. And uh, the local community import all the data in, the, in OSM. And uh, the major work was done by Brice Maron, who created uh, the OSM files to be imported. Um, the instruction was was to um, to put the ref uh, urbis and uh, the ID of the, the buildings and there is some uh, statistics done in May 2005 uh, 2015 uh, so most of the, the the work has been done. And sometimes the buildings are present in the in OSM, but the tags OSM uh, uh, ref urbis is not uh, present. Uh, so the the comparison is done uh, comparing uh, tags ref urbis, but uh, it's not. Sometimes it doesn't work because if we if you add some new buildings, you don't know the which tag to add to to make the link with the Urbis database. Uh, and also, sometimes the, when the, there is missing tags, uh, the statistic uh, doesn't work. Uh, and also, uh, the ID of the buildings uh, may change. Sometimes the buildings are erased and re recreate. And so, um, it's not uh, always valid. But they, uh, in Urbis, they create uh, a new uh, ID, which is Inspire ID, and normally it won't change uh, from version to version. So uh, the, the ID will be always the same. Um, and so um, to compare Urbis, Urbis the, the database Urbis and OSM, uh, our ID was to comparing uh, with geometry uh, operation. So it was to compare the, the polygons together. Uh, the advantage is uh, we don't need to, to have the refuse urbis. Uh, if it's missing, uh, we can uh, continue to compare the, the, the poly to make the comparison. And also, uh, we can uh, detect difference between the two geometries. And so, uh, detect where, where, uh, where we have to, to, where there is some new change and uh, and stuff like that. So the limited is um, you can download the Urbis uh, data, and uh, it's a shape file. The, there is a lot of uh, format, but uh, you can uh, have it in a shape file. Um, and uh, the, there is some tools: uh, shape file to PostgreSQL uh, to import the data in PostgreSQL. And uh, for the OSM data, you can also uh, put the data in PostGIS. Uh, with the tool Osmosis, and then it's possible to uh, uh, to, to put so, to do some uh, special request intersection intersection buffers. Um, so 
Uh, it's not so easy, in fact, to from uh, OSM data to uh, create the pages uh, polygons. Uh, th there is a, a lot of case. The, the easiest is uh, we have a, a way with the building tags, uh, building is yes, or some, which is not no. Uh, the, there is also some relation. It's uh, all, some, most of the time, it's when the, there is an all in the building. Um, and uh, the relation has the, the tag uh, building uh, yes, or uh, another tag, which is not no. And sometimes the relation has no uh, tag buildings, but uh, she contains a polygon which, which has the building tags. Okay, and sometimes uh, th th there is a possibility to have an island. It's more uh, when you uh, map uh, a lake, lake with an island, and it's possible to um, save First, we have a, a polygon, external polygon. Then we have a hole. And then we have another polygon inside the, inside the, inside the, the so, so it's a building with another building inside. And uh, hopefully there is only one in Brussels. And uh, Urbis consider these two polygons, uh, this polygon as two polygons. And so uh, we uh, didn't uh, manage this case for the comparison. Um, another uh, problem also is we POSGIS need some uh, valid geometry, so it's uh, not crossing some, um, it's to, to have a poly polygon uh, well uh, done. Um, and so we have to eliminate, uh, th there is a lot of polygons which are not valid. Urbis also has uh, this kind of polygons. Uh, yes. So now uh, we have the polygons in the database. And uh, the question is how to uh, compare the data. And we want to, uh, to have the possibility to have a little shift between the polygons. So uh, maybe with the, with the view, uh, sometimes th there is a, a little gap between uh, the, the polygons in Urbis and OSM, and how we manage, uh, how we deal with this uh, problem is uh, to make, uh, from the OSM uh, polygon, to make a, a buffer, a negative buffer, which is the, the green uh, polygon, this one. So uh, the polygon OSM is the black one, and uh, we reduce it in the green uh, polygon, in the green polygon. And then the question is: Is the green polygon inside the the red one? And so, if we have this, uh, if we have this uh, this relation, we, we know that uh, the polygons uh, from uh, OSM is uh, is also in our base, and uh, we can do. Uh, the, the yeah, you can, uh, yeah. So, uh, the, the Urbis polygons are the red one, the awesome polygons are the blue one, and the buffer is to the green one, and the, our uh, question was in pages to ask if every green polygon was in a red one to detect uh, if the, there is some missing polygons in Urbis or in uh, OSM. Uh, the, there is uh, some uh, buildings which are in OSM but not in Urbis. And the question is, uh, is uh, where is the, the problem? Is, is it in uh, OSM or in Urbis? We don't know. We, we, we have to, to go uh, there and to, to correct. So, so maybe it's uh, buildings that were um, um, removed. Uh, uh, th there is also uh, some polygons in Urbis, but not in OSM. Yeah, you can. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th there is also buildings and, uh, from Urbis which 
uh, stands and buildings uh, and multiple buildings in OSM. So the the yellow building is, uh, is uh, over two buildings in in OSM. And uh, also, so we we don't uh, we try to go uh, further and also to detect the the difference between the shapes. And in PostGIS, there, there is a, you can compute the, the distance between two, uh, two polygons. It's uh, used uh, with the Osdorf distance. So if the distance is zero, it means that the two polygons are uh, the same. And uh, when the distance is uh, bigger than bigger, it, it means that uh, the, the, the polygons are different. The, and um, there is some example of uh, different shapes. So uh, these buildings, um, uh, on, the, on the left it's uh, for, from OSM, on the right it's uh, from Urbis. Uh, here also there, there is some difference. Okay. And now the, the statistics, so in Brussels, uh, we we managed to to have uh, this amount of uh, OSM buildings uh, in the Urbis database. We we ha we have uh, two hundred thousand more than two two hundred thousand uh, buildings. Uh, we didn't compute the invalid uh, buildings from OSM because uh, we remove it uh, in our uh, SQL. Uh, in our SQL uh, request, so we didn't compute it, but uh, I think it's quite a lot. Uh, th there is uh, 212 uh, invalid Urbis uh, buildings. Uh, buildings in OSM, but not in Urbis, uh, it's uh, uh, 12,000. Urban uh, buildings in Urbis, but not in OSM, it's uh, 17,000, more than 17,000. And uh, different of uh, know, uh, buildings intersecting multiple uh, OSM buildings, it's uh, 1,000. So, so the, there is a, a lot of work to, uh, th there is a lot of indication and then to correct uh, to check if we have to correct uh, OSM. Um, so the next step will be to uh, integrate uh, the um, work in Osmos. And uh, we talk uh, with uh, some people and the idea will be to use Osmos and to add it in the in subcategory of buildings. So, yes. Um, all this work, uh, you, we, we put all the, the requests in a Docker container, so uh, you can download it, and uh, you have just to, to recreate the database, which is a PostGIS uh, database. You have to only uh, write uh, three lines just to download the code, uh, to create the containers, and then to uh, create... Uh, the, to run the containers, and uh, all the codes you can find here. So, uh, some conclusion. Um, it was very interesting because uh, I think uh, comparing these uh, two different uh, databases, you, you can uh, improve uh, both of the databases. Um, so, so there, there is a lot of uh, buildings to check. And uh, if we manage to have a, um, a processes, uh, yeah, a continuous processes, we can um, we, we can have improve the OSM uh, database. And also, all this work was done uh, with QGIS and uh, PostGIS, and it's very uh, easy to to work with these two tools because uh, the their a perfect couple, and uh, and you can uh, see the very easily uh, the result of the uh, of the um, queries in the in QGIS. So it was uh, very interesting.
Dankeschön. Any questions for our speaker? In the front row. Hi, I have just a quick question about uh, the 2012 uh, 212 buildings that uh, is invalid in UBIS. Uh, did, you, uh, did you send uh, to the UBIS guys that like, this is some building that are wrong, hey, fix it or something like this? Or? Uh, pardon? I didn't... Uh... Uh, you, uh, in the stat statistic, there were 212 buildings that uh, are invalid. Uh, did you notice the UBIS uh, persons that uh, they have this invalid data in their data set? I'm sorry, the... I can't. So, the question is about the invalid uh, 212 buildings that uh, okay. you have. Did uh, you notice, did you send an email to the people from UBIS to, to be aware about this invalid building so they can fix it or? Uh, no, no, not for uh, the moment. We, uh, we just detect that uh, this, this weekend and uh, yes, we will contact them. To, uh, Um, did you study uh, some particular cases to see the evolution of uh, some polygons of buildings uh, since they have been imported in uh, OSM from the Urbis, uh, Urbis base, like uh, on um, logged, changed logged uh, in uh, OSM? Uh, no, we didn't uh, do such a work. So. But it will be interesting to, to do that. Yeah. Um, I think this is a really great tool, but I have a question, I guess, because you're checking data validity between Urbis and OSM, and maybe one of the things to know where the validity is coming from, did Urbis use different imagery to digitize their buildings? That could be the problem right there to check. I mean, maybe it'd be worth just looking at metadata before you even begin this process to verify the imagery that was used, and then you might be able to see, because this kind of goes, ties into what the ambassador was saying the other day, yesterday morning, that you know he's digitizing one building, and then he's got this rogue user that's changing it because she's comparing it to a different uh, image that was two years older or something. So perhaps it could be new construction or you know, new roads, whatever. Um. Uh, yes, I, I think uh, Urbis uh, has imagery uh, from the, the they create uh, photo uh, photo imagery and uh, they yeah they uh, digitalize uh, them I think yeah. and um, yes I think it's it's inter it will be interesting to to give them uh, a feedback but uh, yes we will contact them also. Hello. Um, two questions. Um, you said you had um, sometimes multiple OSM buildings for one Urbis building. Are, are you grouping them by Urbis ID already? And my second question, um, are the licenses compatible with each other for the OSM improved data to be contributed back to Urbis? Um, the, so for the moment, we only detect the, the difference. And uh, we didn't uh, uh, propose uh, uh, we didn't uh, change the OSM buildings, but the idea will be uh, to to put the difference in osmos, and then the the mapper uh, will will have the choice uh, to correct uh, in which way they, they will correct. Uh, so, but I think uh, if. Uh, yeah, we, we will have discussion on the mail, mailing list if uh, we uh, if we have a, a, a single building in Urbis uh, with a single reference. Do we have to uh, regroup the, the two buildings together? Uh, it will be a question on the mailing list. Um, and the, the licenses are compatible. So yes. Any more questions? 
Well, this is not the first time that this conclusion that mixing uh, public data with OSM data, at the final you get an uh, improved or a database of geospatial data. Um, and um, I know that there are uh, some research lines working on that, and that uh, using public OSM and maybe private data to have um, better <laughs> spatial information. I wonder if you are thinking in continue these uh, works as uh, research into university or private institution in, in the sense that it will be good to to have more uh, research in this area and be uh, more public policy posted about uh, that because I mean it's uh, good for everyone. Um, for, for the moment we, we don't think uh, I think we will uh, create a, a continuous process to uh, every six months uh, Urbis data uh, are update. And so we will uh, update the difference uh, maybe every month uh, or every uh, night. So, so the, the idea is to have a, a continuous uh, process for the mappers to know uh, how to, to fix the, the stuff. Uh, about the research, we for the moment, we don't uh, think about uh, research, uh, uh, but if you if you want to go to collaborate with us, uh, you you can uh, contact us, and uh, we will be happy to to try to to do some research about that. Yes. Next question. Was there another question? Is it answered in the meanwhile? Any more questions? Okay, then let's give our speaker another applause. Thanks so much for joining.